Well, Lucifer. Oh, would you want to actually? Okay. I didn't think you were going to actually justify Lucifer. Oh, heck yeah. All right, let's do it. Come on, man. Okay. First of all, I almost never win any converts by my justification. You're not going to, no. <laughs> really? I mean, it's Lucifer. You're, okay. He's you're literally positive. the devil. You're positive. But what is the devil? The devil is all that's material, all that's in the world, mm -hmm. right? There's a reason he hates mankind. Okay. Okay. The reason he hates mankind is because his father mm -hmm. betrayed him for them. Now imagine if you were, if you <laughs> lived your life in adoration mm -hmm. of a person whom you thought the sun rose and set upon because they were so moral and just and good. And suddenly this person said, you are not of the stature that you believe you are. Mm -hmm. You're the angel of light, you're, you're mm -hmm. wise, you're, you're, uh, you're good. S screw virtue. Mm -hmm. You have to now become a servant of this creature who is capable of tremendous evil, who's so far beneath you. Now you could say, well, Lucifer just felt, you know, uh, his pride was piqued. Okay. But I think he had a sense of justice and that rewarding rewarding someone who's morally inferior with with virtue or the fruits of virtue mm -hmm. was unjust to him and inconceivable. Mm -hmm. So he said no. Mm -hmm. And he was punished in terms that I think uh, proportionately were unjust. Mm -hmm. That's all fair, but I think then it's what happens after the punishment. Like that, under, I understand why he is as angry and, and turns and does the things he does, but it, I don't feel like it's justified to then create. You don't think? And granted, I don't know really know the Bible, so I'm not I'm not getting when, into the specifics. When the virtuous but, are told to be sacrificed for the unvirtuous, I think there's a breach of justice there. Mm -hmm. And when somebody stood up and refused, sure. refused to. Uh, but, but all the stuff that comes after that well, with the demons if, if and the... If you're condemned, mm -hmm. or just what I do to the demons, you mean? Well, no, just the... Just building my own army. I mean, building the army, but then also the, or from what we've seen on that show, let me, let me, you know, the way that he keeps people in cages down there, you would think that he <laughs> would treat them better because of how he has been treated. Oh, no, they're the reason. They're the reason. Not everybody. But them, but see here we have looking at people in the aggregate. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna miss a few through the cracks, you know. And well, yes. Humanity <laughs> in general. Look, I mean, it's 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 said in the Bible that mm -hmm. we uh, the wages of sin are death. We are all sinners, all. Mm -hmm. So even the good ones have that crack in their in their sure. in their in their spirit called their humanity that is that somehow can be exploited and used. Oh yeah. But. The, the thing about Lucifer is, I don't know if I justified his reasons for revenge, but he, he like, um, like Jedekiah, is bent on, he's purposeful. He wants mm -hmm. revenge against somebody who wronged him unapologetically. Okay. I'm sorry, if you don't say you're sorry for something that you've done, well, sure. you don't deserve forgiveness. Right. You deserve the apocalypse. Oh, boy. 